There are dozens of things that we joke about and call a Jeep thing. Um, I want to start a new series and I want to hit on um, quick, precise, well articulated topics. They won't be long videos, uh, but in these series we want to talk about um, why it's a Jeep thing and how to fix it. Problem. Sometimes when you're driving around, even if it's for like a five mile an hour trip around the block, or maybe you live on um, a street where you, you do a lot of running, but you don't really necessarily put your seatbelt on or you have your top off. I think for me, I, I the, the chime annoys me. So I want to disable it. And this is how we're going to do that. To disable the chime, you will put keys in your truck, obviously. You'll hit the start button twice with your foot off the brake. That was my air pump. 16th to the 19th, it'll be the first PGA Tour event with fans in attendance. All right, and, Ryan and seatbelt on. And your Fox News at 4 o'clock is proudly sponsored by Triple J Auto Group. And then hit the power button again. and then off. All right, so I've already tested it once and it seems like it's taken. Um, just one additional thing is you gotta make sure your seatbelt, um, do the procedure I just showed you, but just make sure that your seatbelt's clicked first and then hit your button and cycle it through twice. It's, it's not just two button pushes, but I cycled through to engine start without my foot on the brake and then engine start again without my foot on the brake and double tapping that. So you're going to be a total of four pushes. It'll be one, two, and then off three, four, and then off. Uh, do all that with your seatbelt on just as I showed you a second ago. And let's, uh, let's try it out and see, see if it works. All right. Seatbelt is off and I'm in the truck. Start it. Got my foot on the brake. One push tip start. And we are seatbeltless, driving around the neighborhood. Do get a ding. And I do see that it says seatbelt unbuckled with the light. And now I'm going to accelerate. So I'm doing, usually by now, I get the seatbelt warning. 20 to 25, 30 miles an hour. I don't have my seatbelt on. I do get the light on the dash, but that's okay. And we'll go ahead and turn here. This is not a G-Pack. This isn't something uh, like a Taser additional install from a Taser. I do have a Taser, but this is not what causes, this is stock. This is absolutely everything, uh, anybody can do this. It's um, kind of an everybody uh, modification. So if you are annoyed by your seatbelt when you got short little trips, um, you can do this, this hack. So it looks like it's taken. Well, that was pretty easy. Uh, as you can see, it was just a couple of button pushes. Went and test drove it a little bit. Um, I don't want to make these videos really long when it's something this simple. Uh, you can absolutely do this on any Jeep model. And uh, for the J this is for the JL and for the JT uh, trucks. So, hope you guys enjoyed this film and uh, like, subscribe. Uh, thanks for uh, checking in once again, guys. Appreciate you.